Hello friends, this is Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming and I'm here today to share with you my fourth video on my craft room. I uh, left you last time with a dilemma of putting a table in the middle of the room which I uh, was continuing to search for and try to decide what I wanted and I did decide this week and I have ordered a table but I haven't received it yet so that will be in a future video. So this video is going to start the tour of my craft room as is. And I've got it pretty much organized. I think I have pretty much everything in here. So what I thought I would do is do one wall at a time so I can have a series of like four short, hopefully short videos just to show you how I've organized it. I don't want a lot of clutter in here. So I've tried to put everything away in drawers or on shelves or whatever. So this is the way I like it, non-cluttered and uh, clean. And I did a major craft project over the last few days and I cleaned up for you this morning. So I've got everything put away. This is, uh, we're gonna do this wall this uh, for this video. And what I've got on this wall is just two pictures that my kids drew when they were younger that I framed and put up there. I've had them on the wall for a long time, but I moved them in here uh, for my craft room decor. And then on this wall, I have this dresser that I said, like in a previous video, it was passed down from my brother to both of my boys used it and now I'm using it. So this was not purchased. I already had it and it's got nine drawers and I'm keeping the uh, top empty except for this is my going to be my project space like I'm spread out on so all of these are junk journals that I'm working on I've never been able to do this before and this is what I was looking forward to those um, booklets in the back are all separate junk journals and that started from these two Reader's Digest junk journals that I started and I had all these pages that I didn't want to put away so I am making little journal, little mini journals or small journals out of the pages. I made some banner. I'm making a couple of banners and a couple of more. I had a stack of um, children's books on my desk that I was using for previous projects that it's already in my Etsy shop and I didn't want to put those away. So I also cut those up into pages. So. They're all, all those uh, things that I just mentioned are divided up among these junk journals right here for me to work on. So that's how I'm organizing, using the space for organizing and spreading out my projects. So, and so we're just going to go through the drawers. I have uh, little labels uh, on the drawers to show, to remind me of what's in the drawer so I don't have to you know, open every drawer and figure out what's in it. I mean, I will remember after a while what's in there. But right now I wanted the labels on there. These come off pretty easily so I can change them out. But you can see this one I put two on. And so that's how I have it organized. I'll show you how I'm trying to keep the drawers pretty neat inside. But, um, you know, it is what it is. You have to stack things in there the best I can. So this drawer is lined paper, notepads, and post-its. I'm not going to take anything out, but I'm just showing you how I have it stacked in there. This one is fabric and patterns. I've kind of got a neat pile over here and kind of just scraps and trims over here. And the patterns are under there. And then here's some trim or some uh, like yarn, so that's what's in that one. This one is just, I have labeled papers. <laughs> so these are just basically things I wanna cut up and use in my junk journals. Got some calendars in there and just some stationery and different, I uh, got some old ledgers and a, a wallpaper border, book pages, so that's my papers. Down here, ephemera. This is what I'm calling ephemera. Just a basically odds and ends paper that I'm sticking in here. Just different little pieces that I use for um, the goodies. I've got some stamps in there, pictures, uh, 
just all kinds of things, more stamps. Got all my Tim Holtz in here, just a piece of random ephemera. All my Tim Holtz is in here. So that's basically my ephemera drawer. And the the um, runner on that one is out. So I have to do that off camera, put that back in there. This one is clips, pens, hardware. So I've just got some binder clips in here, a little index card box, and just some other little, you know, paper clips. I've got some pins that I need to use up and put maybe uh, with a, with my journals as a little, you know, part of the goodie bags. And I've got some other hardware in here, some corner, some corners, some some of these, and uh, you know, clothes pins. So as you can see, I have more room in here, but you know, my object is not to fill up the drawers, just to have everything organized. My top drawer here, playing cards, flashcards. So as you can see, I have a, quite a collection of those. And I'm trying, going to try not to like when a drawer is filled up like this. I'm trying not to buy any more <laughs> until I use some of these up. So. I'm trying to be aware of what I have and not over, you know, overstock myself. This one is cards and envelopes. So just all um, cards and envelopes, as you can see, all kinds of that kind of stuff. And that was the good thing about, you know, setting up my craft room and getting everything organized is I can put like things together now instead of having them spread in, you know, two or three different places. This is bags and napkins. So, got them all in here. All kinds of bags and napkins I'm using in my junk journals. Down in there. So, all nice and neat and organized. I've got some little butterfly, butterflies and flowers down in there. So, that's kind of ephemera too, or tags, but I put them in there. So, maps. I saw my map related stuff and my maps that I cut up or atlases or whatever I have in the map department are all in here for me to use up and use in my journals. That one also has a runner problem. So since the closet is on this wall, we'll do that in a second. Over here is my stickers. I had these two kind of wall organizers here that I put all of my stickers in. So I just have, you know, a bunch down here. Like I put all my puffy stickers right here. Kind of organize them into, you know, my like B type stickers here. All my words here. And up here I have all types of stickers. So I can just, I, I like them out. I didn't want my stickers in a notebook, binder, or in, um, something that is closed like a tote I wanted them out because I like to grab my stickers and just pull one out and use it and put it back when I'm done so this was easy for me and it's the way I like it so that's what I did with my stickers I've got my little picture up here that I wrote out I um, repurposed a picture that I had painted over it I didn't want it anymore Painted over it and wrote the word hello on there. So it's a little decor item. And then my closet, this was, it's not really, you know, anything special, but I'm just gonna show, show you that I stuck a couple things in here. Um, this has some of my coils and supplies, file folders, manila, manila file folders, and some other supplies. These are all empty containers that I can put to use in uh, when I need do need a new container put something in. These are all empty. My empty containers are stuck up there. Uh, just a bag of stuff that I use for crafting. Uh, for a craft I don't do very often, but if in case I need it, it's right here. Uh, manila file folders that I'm repurposing. They're all used and I'm reusing them and repurposing them. And then the last couple of things that are over here that are mine. Those hangers are going back to the dry cleaner. Uh, these uh, these totes I had in a corner at the beginning out here in my room and was trying to figure out what to do with them. They're just some 
odds and ends from when I decluttered my house and I didn't want to get rid of them. So I put them in here and chose to store them for now. This is all my cookbook related junk journal items in this tote. I may move those out of here when I get the table for the middle of my room because it has a cabinet underneath. So I may see if that stuff will fit in there, but for right now, I needed to put it away. So I put it all in a tote. Everything I use to do my cookbook journals is in this tote. So I can pick, pull this out and have everything I need to make a cookbook journal when I'm ready to do those. And then up here, I just have um, just some odds and ends like uh, that I've tried to organize this uh, thing here somebody gave me and I organize my scraps in here like down here I have strips down here I have bigger strips you know just 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 my way of trying to organize scraps if there is a way to organize scraps and then this is another accordion, accordion file and I kind of have it I don't know if I can pull it down right now but I have it organized as to theme and things like that like here's words that I can I've typed out typed on uh, or printed on a manila folder and cut those out and make little like journaling cards or word card flash cards I have uh, botanical items in this different you know the different areas I've uh, put stickers on so I know if I need something I can come in here and grab it botanicals travel and that's how it is throughout the whole thing here's papers I need to cut up um, some things I printed coffee dyed paper right there and that's my postage related things that I use for my postal, postal or postage journals so just that's my organizing of that stuff so that's that wall I don't want this journal to I mean this um, video to get too long so I just wanted to run through one wall at a time it's already um, you know long enough and I know I don't have time to watch hour-long videos. I didn't want to do that to you all. So um, we'll come back uh, another day with another wall. We'll get through all four walls. And hopefully by the time I get to the last one, I will, uh, you know, have my cabinet in the middle and have that organized and we can look through that. But uh, thank you for watching today. Y'all have a great week. And if you have any questions about uh, the way I organize things or why I did something or you have any suggestions for me, <laughs> just put it in the comments. And um, I would love it if you would subscribe and um, everybody would just have a great weekend and uh, a great week. And I will talk to you later. See you next time. Bye-bye.